Hey fish friends, how's it going? We are in the Sacramento area. We're actually in Citrus Heights, California at Aquarium and Reptile Depot. And today we're gonna go in and check out this cool store. I've seen them online a lot. I've seen them in videos. I've heard a lot about them and they happen to also be one of the retail partners for Aquarium Co-op where I work. So we're gonna go in and check out this cool store. What's up, Denzel? How are nice, you? Nice to formally meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. So. Yeah, yeah. It's a great store. Really cool to be here. First off, when you walk in, like this tank right here is just amazing. And I'm not a big like reef guy or anything, but I do appreciate it for the beauty and, and the aesthetic value. And I know it's a lot of work, but I'm sure when people come in and they see this tank, they're like, I want this. Yeah, we set this up. Uh, we partnered up with uh, Red Sea to set this up about a year ago. Uh, yeah, I, I could see someone that, you know, with a big living room or something having this in there and just staring at it. Yeah, I think pe people yeah. kind of relate to this a little bit yeah. better. So yeah, we wanted customers to kind of make it feel like it's part of their home. So we kind of redid the flooring here, kind of put a, a soffit and- Yeah, that's yes, great. Yeah. Thank you. Definitely kind of give that off. And then you've got these other tanks here. I, I heard about this, uh, this one kind of getting, a, you got a new one coming, this big acrylic tank. Yeah, yeah. So this one is the monster tank. Uh, we sold some of the bigger fish out of here to uh, kind of get ready for the new tank. So right. that's that's hopefully getting manufactured soon, but with everything going on, hopefully soon. And you've got these display, these, I, I want to say tanks, but you've got a a tank and then like a, what would you call this, a terrarium or? Yeah, we call it like a little bioactive setup okay. with an emerald tree bow in there, yeah, which is cool. which is popular. But yeah, so we have, so to complement the saltwater reef, we did a freshwater planted. We just, we tried to dry start this. It didn't go as, plan but we just filled it okay. about recently two, about two weeks ago okay okay so that's, that's why, why there's a little bit of algae a gotcha. little change in so that's all right yeah looks good though working on it yeah very cool what was this building before because i'm looking at like how it's set up and you've got like this thing here yeah so we we kind of went through stages as we kind of developed into our store here and kind of evolved did you guys build this thing right here we did we did it was actually a pond when oh, we first started okay. it was pretty cool however like we needed more shell space we already have another pond in the back okay. so it was a little redundant so we right. kind of built it as more of a place to kind of put equipment supplies and things right. like that but yeah to start it um when we first came in here this has always been a motorcycle shop so it started okay. as harley davidson all right when choppers were popular that's why you see the flames on the floor yeah, okay, that, okay. Well, we wish we redid the floor when we got in, but you know, when we, 10 years ago, we were just trying to get it going. So uh, hopefully something Well, the floor improvement. is clean and dry for a <laughs> yeah. fish store. That, that's, yeah. that's pretty good. So no, we, we flood it pretty yeah. often. Yeah. So, so there is this reptile section. Now, obviously we're, you know, I'm not into reptiles right. or anything like that, but uh, for people that like fish and reptiles, that's a great place um, yeah. or one or the other, obviously. Yeah, and we kind of have like the mixture of both too, you know, with turtles, but yeah, that's right. the reptile side. And we have a showroom of aquariums in the back okay. there. So it kind of oh, allows people there? to kind of, yeah, take a oh. look. So we have a lot of Red Seas and oh, yeah. Aquions okay. and things like yeah, that. So to kind of, for all your, uh, your dry stuff. Yeah. Cool. But yeah, back over here, we kind of, we kind of start out with salt water here mm -hmm. and then as we will go back, then the fresh water's back there. And then there. These, these, these racks. Mm -hmm. So. I'm assuming this is just like a little facade. What are your racks made out of? Uh, they're made out of wood. Okay. Um, when we first came here, they were all, I don't know what, what kind of wood you want to call it, but it, it was stained. It was really nice. Okay. Water got on it over time. Yep. So we put the facade over it. Okay. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So we try to keep the larger saltwater fish on this side. Are these custom, custom um, tanks that you had made? Yes. Okay. Yes. We had these custom done all rimless mm -hmm. on the saltwater section. These are a little longer for bigger tanks. Right. Um, smaller ones, rimless too. Um, you guys are cut. using a diffuser as your uh, lids? We are. We okay. are um, black egg crate that we yeah, get. Yeah, egg crate. Yeah. yeah. Our light diffuser yeah. custom done for us. So I'm assuming that these are all on a shared system? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, they're different shared systems, but yes, but most of them are on a, like a system. Sump. In a sump. We have heaters in there. In Our sump. environment's pretty controlled here. So okay. we try to, like you said, electricity costs and things like right. that. We try to keep it, minimize it. Right. Um, yeah. And you are in Sacramento, so it's not like it's 
where it gets super cold and no no yeah. yeah it doesn't get super cold it does get super hot it's but like yeah, right. yeah the salt goes like fish system invertebrates and then corals okay so it kind of allows the customers to kind of stay in a general area right. we try to divvy it up as yeah, as best little, we could uh, your little dry rock area to yeah yeah so a lot of carob sea rock and then the dry rock in the tub there with the live rock there and then we oh yeah wow that's cool and then we kind of venture into the freshwater system. Yeah. So this is kind of our cold water system. Okay. Um, so goldfishes, yep. paradise fish, African door frogs, lobsters, things like that. And sturgeons, then we have an huh? Sturgeons, yes. So when people come in, as, now sturgeons are an amazing looking fish. Do they realize how big they get? Most customers do. Okay. Uh, most. Just because, yes. you, I mean, these right now are like four, four to five inches but they get to be massive feet. Yeah. Right. So you're going to need thousand gallon plus 2000 gallons for, so we try to push those for ponds. Actually, we have, okay. I have one in our, in our pond at home, okay. a okay. larger one, probably right. about two feet, but that's what we try to tell customers to go after on those. Right. Ones. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of an oddball section. So uh -huh. a little bit larger fish kind of yeah. overflow areas. Sometimes customers. That's an oddball right there, a big yeah. cap. I've seen these before, this style. It's kind of the, the aquarium store yeah, yeah. tanks. We got this off um, like a old, old Petco or PetSmart. Okay, yep. So when we first started, it was just kind of nice. It kind of divvied it up. It's a lot of smaller tanks. This is your shrimp section here? Shrimp section, okay. yes, yes. Has shrimp been big for you? Because I know that in the past couple of years, like it's kind of taken off with popularity. Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's been a big thing. We added, it's funny, you, you notice all the new things we added. We added this about a few months ago. Uh -huh. So we had them in our system, but shrimp just kind of got big and right. people like them, small tanks. You need it's a whole great for the area. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's worked out nice in that aspect. Cool. And this is all freshwater down all here? All freshwater. Okay. Um, we start with kind of communal and then we kind of go to semi-aggressive and then we go to our aggressive systems. Right. Um, it works pretty well. Multiple systems, uh, multiple UVs, um, split up the fish pretty well. Yeah, so, I like your frag tanks here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The I've corals. always wanted a frag tank for a shell dweller tank. That would be like one day. Yeah. One day I'm gonna do something like that. So anyway, so you guys have been here for almost 10 years. Almost 10 years, yes. And it's you and your brother, and then is it your dad is also involved, or? Yeah, my dad started it with us. Okay. Uh, he's kind of behind the scenes now, so if we do like construction or right. anything major, or he just wants to get on us okay. on stuff, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he'll come in and, and do that. But right. he lets us take the day-to-day -day operations wow. and kind of handle that. So what made you decide 10 years ago, let's take over this 10,000 square foot area and have a fish store? You know, like fish has always been in my life. Kind of sounds like what you what you were going through. So right. like um, since I was a kid, my dad had a pond, had aquariums at the house. He was in the restaurant business. He had aquariums in all his restaurants okay. and just slowly kind of morphed into this. Uh -huh. uh, we started about 15 years ago, actually. Okay. And he started as a little hobby shop and it just slowly evolved. We moved two spots to get to here right. about 10 years ago. And me and Jeff finished school. Okay. And then we kind of just kind of went all in on it. Wow. I love to see independent fish stores that are well established and doing well because there's certain things that you can tell and you look at an inventory as an example and if, if a business is struggling you're not going to see the inventory in stock that kind of stuff where you guys have a lot of stuff here so it's great to see I really thank like you, that. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Nice, uh, nice plant section. Oh, it's a lot of plants. Yeah, yeah. So plants are pretty popular in the area. That's another right. one that's gained huge popularity. Yeah, and that's something that we promote, obviously, at Aquarium Co-op is plants because it does help to uh, balance your aquarium and everything. So you have a lot of plants. So these are all plants for sale back yeah, here. Yeah, these are okay. all planted tanks. Yeah, it's, nice. it's helped a lot. Right. Now we got Aquarium Co-op products in here. Yep. Hopefully it'll help even more. So speaking of Aquarium Co-op, yes. so you recently became a retail partner. We did, we did. So, so what kind of made you want to do that? You know, I've always actually been a big fan of Corey on YouTube because he's passionate and he knows about it. Not to right. say other brands don't. Sure. But he knows the product that he's producing, which is like really important to us. He stands behind it. Yeah. So that's why, and they use it. Right. So then like right. they have a store. So it kind of like, it, for us it was like, no duh. You know, yeah, like yeah, that yeah, makes yeah. sense for us to carry their product. So this is interesting is your fish are really small because they're juveniles. Right. But there's a ton of color on these fish. Now, some of it's probably because you guys have really good lighting here. Maybe it's the way that you feed them. 
But um, so just so you know, when, when people come in to see these, like these are, they're really colorful. They're all of like two and a half, three inches, but these fish get to be like three to four times the size. Yeah, so yeah, it's just a variety of sizes. You know yeah. how it is with African cichlids. It's always challenging, kind of trying your best to keep them around the same right. size. But yeah. once they get large, it's kind of hard to put in. Oh, because of aggression? Yeah. You got green spotted puffers in here. Yeah. Now, are you keeping them in fresh or are they in brackish? These are in brackish. Oh, here. they're brackish, okay, okay. So I like to hear that because green spotted puffers can be kept in fresh water, but they don't do very well long term. And the fact that you guys have some salt in there is, it's good. Yeah, yeah. I know you do a lot of brackish. It looks like a lot of brackish fish, yeah, like it's, uh, it's, mud it's skippers and stuff kinda, like that, right? It kind of yeah. turned out that way, yeah. So what are some cool things that we have over here? Um, so we have, I mean, let's there's see. There's a lot to see. Yeah, yeah. There's a pretty cool little lungfish, which is a oh, yeah. really neat. It's not like the, sometimes we get them really big. This one's a kind of a really cool size. Yeah. So with some datnoids in there. Now yeah, those, those lungfish, lungfish get really big too. They do, they do. So, we have some shovel nose cats. Uh -huh. so it's always a little challenging telling customers that, hey, this is eventually gonna get big. They're like, well, it's small now, but no, it's gonna get it's gonna big, get big, big and, yeah. Yeah, like <laughs> outgrow any tank you have kind of a thing. So people probably come from all over to, to shop at your store. Yeah, we're pretty fortunate in that aspect of it. Um, what a lot of vendors have called us is like a destination spot, which yeah, is like, that's, that. yeah, that's a huge compliment. Like, yeah. Even like your, your scaping materials, your all different types of stone here and different types of wood to choose from. And this is on the freshwater side. We're not even looking at the dry rock and the uh, scaping stuff you have, but you have a lot of stuff in here. Yeah, we just try to be a one-stop shop. I think like retail is really hard, especially a brick and mortar store, probably aquarium co-op can tell you the same thing. It's, it's just challenging. You try to have a little bit of everything so then you can kind of cater to the market and they just come here so they Online's great, don't get me wrong, but right. when you pick a piece of wood, you know what piece of wood you're getting as opposed to kind of a mystery piece of wood. Right. So that's where we're like, you can cherry pick quote yeah, unquote. Yeah, yeah. This has probably been the biggest hit for us is the pre-filter sponges. We've been asking, trying to figure out how to get that in the store and we finally got that so it allows customers not to have any other fish get sucked up in it and it's coarse which is right which is so good. It's good for shrimp and fish and everything so do you find that when you're selling a filter do you also direct them and say hey you should think about getting a, a pre-filter we do we do it just helps a lot of customers have any like minor issues it's easy to clean it, right. it doesn't break down like the the fine ones right, so it lasts right. a long time yeah. Yeah, they do last a really long time. And then we have the heaters now too, down here. Yeah, both both of them, the 50 yeah. and the 100. Yeah. We sold a few of the hundreds over the weekend, that's why it's a little bare, but uh -huh. yeah, it's a good one. Has a long cord, which we really like, and has the heater guard. All right, so here is the fish food section, which every fish store has, and you've got lots of different uh, types to choose from, lots of different brands and variants. But what I want to look at is, this is a, an aquarium and reptile store, but we have a little section here right by the counter that's all dog treats. Now it's not like dog food and leashes and all those kind of things. It's basically just treats, which I think is so cool because for me, like I have a dog, everyone loves dogs. And even like my neighbors who don't have dogs, they keep treats and in their garage for when we walk by, they give to the, give to the dogs. So what made you guys kind of want to do this with the uh, the dog treats? You know, it's, it was a weird thing that just kind of happened. Uh, our customers were asking about it and we decided to bring it in. They just like taking one care of like a fish or a reptile. They're like, oh, I want to take care of my dog. Two, let me get a treat for them. And it just kind of works. So super cool store, love the vibe, love how clean it is, the amount of products you have, the selection everything from dry goods to fish it's a really really nice store maybe tell us a little bit about kind of what you guys do and what sets you apart from other types of stores sure um over time it's just kind of again we're just adapting and adjusting to our clientele so we created a line system here which is kind of a big thing so we have like a aquatics line we have a reptile line we have a checkout line it just it's hard in, in fish stores you know you kind of give a head nod or you give the eye and you're like i'm ready and then we're like, we don't know who's ready, who's not. Like, so if you guys are ready, just stand there and we'll just grab people. If not, then we kind of 
I have my staff kind of seek out customers, just make sure they're doing okay. After we help customers out, we actually use tubs here to kind of keep everyone's orders together so we just don't throw everything on the counter. So if I'm walking around and I'm grabbing like, I got a, this Pleco cave and a sponge filter, so your staff will come with this bin and I can put it in there, they'll set it down for me and then I can keep shopping. They'll ask, you know, some people don't want to, that's uh -huh. completely okay. We ask, we have baskets too, but right. it's not easily seen, so right. we just, part of the customer experience okay. and then uh, I guess the last thing is like we kind of keep things behind the counter like aquarium co-op easy green or the right. tabs or the regulators but I think it allows us to kind of explain about it a little bit which okay. is fantastic super cool so where can people find you it's a obviously I mentioned that we're in Citrus Heights so yeah. but how can people find you like on Instagram you mentioned Instagram or Facebook or website yeah we do all of that so we do Instagram Twitter Facebook we have a small YouTube channel that we okay. just kind of mess around with right. a little bit, um, but definitely come into the store. That's the best way to get come a hold of Come into the store, check it out. You won't regret it. It's, it's a very Thank cool you. store. And I've been to a lot of fish stores and I'm kind of like, eh, I've seen one, I've seen a hundred. This is a really cool store. Like I, I, if you live closer to me, or if I live closer to the store, I would definitely like, uh, this, this would probably be one of the stores that I, I uh, would visit and, uh, and shop from. So uh, anyway, thank you very much for showing us around and uh, hopefully you continue to have success in your you know 10 more years of great business. Thank so. you, Zenzo. No, thank you for coming. Right. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Awesome.